Well, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I got another one for you today. Uh, the thing that guys ask me about the most on the motorcycle, man, is the front wheel. The front wheel, I guess, has made a statement. You guys really, really been asking about, you know, the size, um, how does it ride, and just overall a review of it. And I gotta give it to you. Now, I gave you an introduction to this uh, wheel before, but I guess I didn't go into detail enough. And for my new guys who just started watching me, I guess you guys wanna know without going back in my older videos to see what I was talking about. So the reason I chose to go with another wheel or a bigger size wheel, and I hope you guys can hear me over this train going by, but it was a stance thing. That's basically what it was. I didn't want the factory wheel on the front anymore. Not to say that there was anything wrong with the wheel. It was just that I wanted a different look to the bike. So I had to make a decision. Now, there's a thousand wheels you can go to and there's a few sizes that you can go to and the most popular, this is just my opinion, are the 21, the 23, and the 26. I know guys who run all three of them. So if you're interested in any one of those, just hit me in, uh, you know, over in my inbox on the Real Official Macro Instagram and I can answer some questions, but we're going over mine today. Now, those guys said that all their bikes ride fine. I've ridden a few bikes <laughs> and I could tell you the difference between it just hit me on a real efficient map because I don't want to make this video too long guys watch this all right guys let's start from the top maybe you can see the stance on the bike yeah it's a little lower in the back remember guys I'm running a legend suspension go back and watch that video if you got any questions about the legend suspension but this is basically what the bike looks like up close size we'll get into that first okay I went with the 21 inch wheel because it was the easiest to get a tire for, okay? That's the first and foremost reason because I thought to myself, if I said, if I ever had a flat tire, where would I be able to get a wheel from? And Harley is the number one place to get your tires from because they run the CVOs with 21 inch wheels. So <laughs> they'll always have them in stock for the CVO guys. You can just go pop right in. So no matter where you're at, you can always get a tire 23, not so much harley doesn't carry those and 26 good luck nine times out of ten you would have to order something like that i'm just going to walk you guys around real quick to kind of let you see how the bike sits before i move on to the next topic now guys ask me they go between 21 and 23 because they can't tell the difference in what i have and i understand why number one reason is because of that wrap fender the wrap fender gives the illusion that the wheel is much bigger than it really is. Let me get in close and show you why. You see the, the fender shows the whole wheel. Now, if I had the stock Harley fender on the front, you wouldn't be able to tell. It's kind of hard to even notice between a 19 and a 21. Remember, these are Prodigy wheels. It comes with 19 in the front and an 18 in the back. And with that stock Harley fender on it, it covers a lot of the wheels. So it doesn't give the illusion like it's given to you guys now. Very simple things to change out. Put a wrap front fender on it. It makes the bike, it just gives it a different look. It gives it a, 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 like a sportier look. The next thing you guys ask me about is how does it turn? How does it ride? How does it handle? It does not change the geometry of the bike. The 23 does, the 21 doesn't. The 23 doesn't need a rake. You can still ride these bikes with a 23 without a rake, but a 21 needs nothing. If I were to try and compare it to anything, it would be like getting new tires on your car, okay? You can feel a bit of a difference, but it's not that noticeable. And after a few minutes, you get used to it and it's back like to riding like your stock bike. Another thing I wanna let you guys know, and some guys' opinion is, because you switch out the front tire, depending on the tire that you're going with, will also give the bike a different ride. Guys, I'll get a different ride because I'm running a Michelin up front. The, the Michelin is a little grippier than what the stock Harley tire is, and you can feel it. It's a little taller, and it's more low profile on the sidewalls. You guys can see it here. I'll zoom back in for you. Hopefully my camera is doing its job for you. You can see that it's a low pro profile tire, so, don't hit any potholes, guys. Try to avoid it um, if that's another thing you're worried about. The bike handles fine. The bike sits fine. It doesn't lean over 
a dramatic, like it's, it's not very dramatic here. Now, if I had a 23 on the front, yes, I would be able to notice how far it um, leans. Now, you might not see a lean on my bike at all because I kind of have it in a spot where the bike is sitting up a little taller just for video purposes. <laughs> So let me come back around the side and let you enjoy the view. The next thing you might be thinking, how much and what brand did I go with? Well, this is a replica wheel. I got it from SMT Machine. Different companies do something a little bit different. Uh, SMT is a little more round to match your factory wheel. I think that's the closest to the factory that you're gonna get. Now, is the wheel much heavier? Yeah, not really noticeable, but it is a little bit heavier just because of the size wise. Um, I have it bolted to my factory uh, rotors. I haven't changed those out yet. I've just found some ones that I'm going to try out. We'll throw those on later. That's a whole nother video. Now the pricing. Ah, the price was about $1,500 for the wheel. It took about eight weeks to get it. Okay, I'm 8,000 miles in on that wheel. No complaints. Like I said, guys, it still rides like the factory. I don't even notice it sometimes. And performance wise, it still does the job. I'm not too far out of the range where I can't turn the bike. I can't flip the bike. I can't run the bike hard and notice that I got a big old wheel up front. It's not that much of a difference, guys. Trust me. 23, you will notice it. 23, you will lean the bike over a lot further because the geometry changes on the bike. Now, if you're one of those guys that are like, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. Remember, you can always get an extension on the kickstand that raises the kickstand up that sits the bike up a little taller. So, guys, that's pretty much the pros and cons of the 21 inch wheel that I run. Um, if you're thinking about getting one, reach out to SMT Machine. They make a nice, nice wheel. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, hit me in the comment section. You know, I always try to help you guys out as best I can. But if that's it, you guys... I appreciate when you join me. I appreciate you for liking and subscribing. But till the next time, peace. <laughs>